Chris here from techtablets.com, just doing a bit of gaming in Windows 8.1 here on the Cube i6. This is Modern Warfare 3 at the moment, it's running at 800 times 600 I'll just show you the settings. So it's, it's probably on the lowest you can run it. So just have a look to see just how well it's going to run. You can see the frames per second is up here, I'm running fraps. And I must warn you, I'm not very good at first person shooters and it's been a while since I've played any, so just expect to see some of the poorest gameplay you've ever seen. So just have a quick game of this, see how it runs, uh, and just having a look at the frame rate. You can see at the moment it's in the mid, mid to high 20s, so that's not too bad. It actually doesn't look too bad. Hope this is coming out in the camera okay. And it is definitely playable. Okay, this scene's got, if I remember, lots of broken glass and things, so this is probably quite hard to render. Well, it's not doing too bad of a job there, 32, 30s. Okay, so that's a lot of action on screen, and I'm of course going to die, but just so you get an idea that uh, lots going on the screen, it didn't really dip below, what, about 25 frames per second, so that's actually not too bad. Uh, next up, I'll check out just a couple of Steam games. So I just actually killed off Modern Warfare 3, and there's my maximum temperatures. So really good, so 57 degrees Celsius. Um, you can hope that you can see that. It's coming out quite clear. So that's a maximum CPU temperatures there, uh, which is quite good. It's nothing like the 88 degrees I got on the Onda uh, V116W, which hit 88. This is kind of the norm temperature range around there. So that's quite good. So I just thought I'd run a couple of other games off Steam. And oh, I should actually keep that open. So Team Fortress 3 is another one that I think I've been tried that one on the Teclas X98 Air 3G. So I will also run that. So we have uh, HW Info is just running in the background there. Just have a look at Team Fortress 2 now. So this is game loading off the hard drive, so it's going to be a little bit slow. Okay, so in Team Fortress here, I'll just go over my settings. Uh, 1024 by 768, 4 by 3 ratio. Everything else is, I'll well, just set them to try linear. Everything onto low here. Shady detail. Um, simple reflections, low, 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 low. Disabled. I normally like to keep vertical sync on, but it's a recommended to have it off, so. That sounds like it's jamming up, but it's not actually. It just seems to do that in the Source games. Okay, so just jump into a multiplayer game. I don't actually play this game at all. I've only downloaded it and played it just for these tablets, so... Uh, I don't know what I'm doing in this game at all. It is loading off my external Toshiba hard drive here. 
you can probably see a little light flashing away there, that's the game loading, so it's going to take a little bit while, a little while longer probably than the internal eMMC drive. It's definitely taking a lot longer. Okay, so I just paused the video because the loading time was quite long. It took about a minute and a half or so. So we're not sitting through loading screens the whole time. Let's see if I can get into some gameplay now. So the frame rate's up here. It's around 60. So it's, of course, I'm inside here, so that's normal that it's 60. But this is one of those games that's definitely playable. I mean, the uh, frame rate's pretty good there, and I think with a lot of action on screen, it will definitely dip right down. So I'll try and see if I can just get to a point where there is loads of action on the screen. Oh, we're still in the setup time, of course. Oh, I haven't had time to configure my mouse sensitivity, which is really bad. I'll oh, be just get to some action on the screen. Uh, oops, someone's already attacking me. So I did already. Flashlight's just gone off on my Note 4 because the battery's getting low. Okay, so it's pretty... Safe to say that game is really playable, I think. Uh, it probably depends on the map, of course. This is more of an inside map, so other maps might lag a little bit, but uh, that seems to be running just fine. Look at those frame rates. Perfect, very smooth. It's not a demanding game. Most Source games aren't really that demanding. I will check out a few other games as well later on. Probably put up another couple of videos, but for now I'm going to have to end this video because I'm running out of battery, which isn't the best. Before I do end this video though, we'll just check on the temperatures and have a look at what it actually got up to, whether it's started to get really hot or anything. Okay, so it did actually work it a little bit harder than uh, Modern Warfare 3, so we got up to 63 degrees, which is still fine. I mean, that's perfect, that's good. This is no throttling, is it saying it's throttling? No, 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 the call throttled or anything like that, so... That is perfect. And if I do have enough battery life, I'll quickly see if I can run asphalt. Oh, I'll swipe from the other side, of course. And asphalt is there. It's installed. So just a quick go of asphalt. See how that runs. Should be fine. Definitely should be fine on these Atom tablets. The game seems to be smooth enough. Although not the smoothest due to this high resolution screen. Definitely a lot smoother on the uh, smaller tablets, 8 inch tablets that are running uh, 1280 x 800. But just quickly jump into the game. Ah, ran the tutorial. Didn't want to do that.
At least it'll give us an idea. You can see the game looks great. How's it go with the sensor? It's a little bit choppy. There's definitely a bit of choppiness there. And the way to avoid that choppiness is to go into desktop on Windows and just set it down to something like 1024 times 768 resolution and then run the game and then you'll see that it just runs really smooth. It's the the high resolution that's uh, that's really demanding for the Intel HD Generation 7 Atom graphics to run it. Okay, so that's just a quick look there at some games on the Cube i6. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please do give me a like. That is really helpful of you to do that. And do subscribe. I'll have more videos uh, with gaming on the Cube i6. Thanks for watching.